In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And a very warm welcome to our Cathedral Communion service on this uh, Wednesday, the 22nd of April. You're very welcome. We follow the usual common worship liturgy, and if you have the books, it's uh, now on page 168. We take a moment to ask God to cleanse our hearts and minds as we come to worship this day. And so we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ our Passover lamb has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil, and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. we say together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Collect the special prayer of the church for this, the second Sunday after Easter. Let us pray. Almighty Father, who has given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification, grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We hear our Gospel reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you O Lord. Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light, and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, that whosoever should believe in him might not perish, but have eternal life. The author and the speaker Brennan Manning tells a very moving story about how he came to be called Brennan. When he was young, he was friends with a boy called Ray Brennan. 
and they did everything together. And they lived in Brooklyn in New York. They went to school together, they double dated together, they bought a car together. They even enlisted for the army together on the breakout of war. And Brennan was in the army and it came to pass that they were sat in a foxhole on the front line and Brennan Manning was reminiscing about the times they'd spent together in Brooklyn. And as he was reminiscing, Ray was sat there eating a chocolate bar. Then suddenly, uh, over the foxhole came a live grenade. And Brennan Manning says he remembers looking at Ray and Ray smiled, threw aside his chocolate bar and leapt onto the live grenade, which blew up, killing Ray. But Brennan Manning himself survived. A few years later, um, Brennan Manning became a priest and a priest in the Roman Catholic Church. And so he had to take a saint's name. So he took the name Brennan, hence Brennan Manning from his dear friend Ray Brennan. And a few years after that, he was in Brooklyn and he visited Ray Brennan's mother. And as he was there, he uh, said to her, I wonder if Ray loved me. I wonder if Ray loved me. And his mother, Ray Brennan's mother, got angry at that point and said, Jesus Christ, what more could he have done for you? And Brennan Manning said that this was a moment of revelation for him. He imagined himself at the foot of the cross, gazing up at Jesus and saying out loud, I wonder if Jesus loved me. And Mary, the mother of Jesus, standing next to him, saying, Jesus Christ, what more could he have done for you? God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whosoever believes in him might not die, but have eternal Let us pray. We pray to Jesus, who was present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear, hear us. us. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry. We pray for people of Yemen, and all those in conflict zones. Nourish us all with your word. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life, be with us and all who follow you in the way. We pray for our churches, for ministers and people. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. We pray for all those suffering with COVID-19 and for those who are caring for them. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, we give you thanks for all who have lived and believed in you. Raise us with them to eternal life. Jesus, Lord of life, in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Accept our prayers and be with us always. Amen. Amen. The risen Lord came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the risen Lord be always with you. And also with you.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of eternal life. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and all the powers of cre creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Draw near with faith and whether spiritually or physically, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for you and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith. 
with thanksgiving. Keep you in eternal. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Lord God, our Father, who through our Saviour Jesus Christ hath assured us of eternal life and in baptism made us one with him, deliver us from the death of sin and raise us to new life in your love, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we pray together our prayer of thanksgiving. Almighty God. We thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead that great shepherd of the sheep, our Lord Jesus Christ, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.